Hi. Now, in this video, I want to show you how we go about differentiating the exponential function y equals e to the power x. You'll find in textbooks, formula books, that you're generally given this result, that if y equals e to the power x, then dy dx can be shown to be equal to e to the power x. Now, I'm not going to show you why this is so, but I just want to show you in this video how we can use this result, different variations of it, and how we can apply it. So, let's take a very basic example first of all. And that is that if you had, say, y equaled 5 then, plus e to the power x, we've got two terms here. And so when it comes to differentiating this, we differentiate each term. Differentiating the constant here, 5 gives us 0. And differentiating e to the power x, well, according to this, it's going to be e to the x. So the result is e to the power x. But what happens if we have, say, something like this, where we have a constant in front of our expression here. Well, in any differentiation that we do, if you've got some function of x and you multiply it by a constant, let's say we multiply it by the constant a, then the result is always that constant multiplied by the differential of your function of x. So this is the result we're going to get. And let's just give an example where we use this then. Let's say we have y equals 3, there we go. we've got a constant, but we now have minus a constant, let's say 5, multiplied by e to the power x. Well, in this example, we therefore have dy by dx equaling, well, if we differentiate the constant term here, that's going to go to 0. But here, in this term, we've got the constant minus 5 multiplying by e to the x. So according to our result, it will be that constant minus 5 multiplied by differential of e to the x, which is e to the x. All right? Now, it doesn't always have to be some function of x. For instance, we could have, say, s. s could be our variable, and it equals, say, 3 e to the power t, all over 4. Well, when you get something like this, a fraction, we can think of the constant here as 3 quarters being multiplied by e to the power t. So when it comes to differentiating this, we're going to have ds by dt equals the constant, which is going to be 3 quarters, multiplied by the differential of e to the t, which is e to the t. So you're just going to get 3 quarters e to the t. Or you could just write it as 3 e to the power t all over 4. All right. Now we can apply this result to, say, a typical question that you're likely to find. And that is this one here. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve y equals 3 minus 2e to the x over 5 at the point where x equals 0. And give your answer in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are integers. So if you'd like to have a go at this, then just give you a moment to pause the video. Do come back when you're done, and you can check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, just to briefly summarise what this problem's about, okay, not that I'm necessarily expecting you to know what the graph looks like, but here it is anyway. Now, if we're trying to find the equation of the tangent, then at the point where x equals 0, which is the point on the y-axis here, then that tangent is going to come through something like this, okay? And being a straight line, it's going to have the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. And x1, y1 are the coordinates of this point here. 
and m is the gradient. The gradients can be got by differentiating the curve. So that's where I'm going to start. By differentiating, finding dy by dx, it will give us the general gradient at any point x on the curve. So differentiating the 3 gives us 0, but differentiating minus 2e to the x over 5 is going to be minus 2 fifths e to the x, okay? Minus 2 fifths e to the x, or just 2e to the x over 5. Now I want to find out what that gradient is at this point where x equals 0. So let's just say when x equals 0, when x equals 0, dy by dx is going to equal, well, anything to the power 0 is 1. So you're just going to have minus 2 times 1 over 5, minus 2 fifths then for that gradient. We also need to find out this y value here, where the curve crosses the y-axis. And that's when x equals 0. So we'll just put also, we've got y will equal the 3 minus 2 e to the power 0 over 5. Well, again, e to the power 0 is 1, so it's just going to be 3 minus 2 fifths. So 3 whole 1s is 15 fifths. Take away 2 fifths is going to be 13 fifths. So when it comes now to finding then the equation of the tangent, we can easily do that because we'll just write an intro anyway, first of all. We'll just put equation of tangent okay is and what's it going to be well it's going to have this format so it's going to be y minus y1 y1 is 13 fifths and it's going to be equal to the gradient m which is minus 2 fifths multiplied by x minus x1 x1 was 0 so just pop that in there so to get it in this form, I just want to get rid of these fractions. So I'll multiply throughout by 5, and if I do that, I get 5y. For the second term, minus 13 fifths, if I multiply that by 5, I get minus 13. Expanding the bracket here just gives me minus 2 fifths x. So if I multiply that by 5, I just get minus 2x. And if I add 2x to both sides, I therefore get 2x plus 5y minus 13 equals 0. And that's in the form that we were asked to give it. So just an application then of differentiating y equals a e to the power x, a being a constant. So I hope this video has just given you some idea then anyway of how we go about differentiating the exponential function e to the power x.